Hey guys, this is video 8.4. Now we're gonna put the last two pieces together. Okay, so we just did those two in 8.2 and 8.3. Now we're gonna put it all together here in this last one and go gram to gram. So up until this point, we have done either just mole to mole conversions or we've done gram to mole or mole to gram. Now we're gonna do gram to gram. So if you take a look here, this is page nine in your notes. Okay, we're starting with grams of one substance and we're converting to grams of another substance. So it's putting it all together. Remember, the each piece is kind of a review. This piece is review, this piece is review, and then this was the new part, the middle part, going from moles of one to moles of the other um, <clears throat> that we learned here in this unit. So now we're gonna put it all together. The hardest part, again, about this unit is trying to figure out where am I starting along this um, roadmap and where do I need to get to? That's the hardest part is when everything's mixed together. So think back to the naming unit where you had everything all mixed together and everybody's just trying to just do whatever they thought. You've got to be organized, okay? And it takes practice. So make sure you do practice sheet four, which is right after this page, uh, the next two practice sheets, practice sheet three and practice sheet four, where practice sheet four is all mixed together before you take your mixed stoichiometry quiz. All right, well, let's just jump right in. We're going to do one example, and then you guys are going to do the U try on your own. So given, again, always start here. Notice how in every single problem that I'm doing for you guys, I'm always starting the same way. You should start that way as well. Identify your given and your wanted. We're trying to figure out how many grams of aluminum can be produced from that. So we're gonna use that same reaction that we've been using, two moles of aluminum oxide, breaking down into four moles of aluminum plus three moles of oxygen gas, okay? So my given, 25 grams of aluminum oxide. Lots of space here. Again, follow your units. We're trying to get two grams of aluminum in the end. So start going through it. Cancel things out that you're starting with. Aluminum oxide to start. Moles of aluminum oxide here. Okay, grams are gonna cancel out. Next one, moles of aluminum oxide to moles of my wanted substance. That's aluminum on the top. But I don't wanna just stop at moles, I want to try to get to grams, so that means grams of aluminum over here on the bottom, I'm sorry, moles, excuse me, moles on the bottom, grams will be on the top, so we can get them to cancel out. And as I go back through, I notice, hey, I can cancel out all my units. Now go back and figure out the numbers. Well, <clears throat> wherever I have a fraction with moles and grams, I know moles is going to get one, so it's going to be a one there. It's going to be a one right here. Well, grams, where do I get grams? I've got to look it up. Guys, we've already calculated um, aluminum oxide a couple of times. It should be, if you look back, 101.96 grams. Aluminum's mass, when you look on the periodic table, is 26.98. Again, rounded to two decimal places. And then the middle part, my mole ratio, I'm going to go up to my balanced equation. So four for aluminum and two for aluminum oxide. Now I've got it all set up. All I need to do left is do the math. Okay, so when I go through and do this, <coughs> I had, when I write this out full, it's like 13.23 grams, but I want to round to correct sig figs. So ask yourself, how do I know the number of sig figs to round to? I'm gonna go back to my original number in the problem. I had two sig figs in my original number, so my final answer is gonna be two sig figs as well. So 13 grams of aluminum. All right, that's it. Again, you've done all the pieces, so when you put it all together, it's not, it shouldn't be too bad. It's when it's all mixed together. You guys go ahead, pause the video, try this problem, and I'll work it out for you in just a second. All right, given 25 grams of aluminum. Wanted, I'm trying to get two grams of aluminum oxide. You might think, well, this is going to be the same as the problem before, but it's not. Okay, we cannot compare grams of one substance to grams of another because each substance has a different molar mass. So just work it out. I'm just getting all my units set up first, and then I'll go back and do my numbers after. So those cancel out, cancel out, cancel out. And then moles of aluminum oxide, grams of aluminum oxide here. Oh, I know one goes there because it's with grams. One goes here as well. Periodic tables where I get my 26.98 grams of aluminum. 
I had 101.96 with my molar mass that I found out. And then my mole ratio, it's going to be flipped from the problem before. Now I can just start doing the math. Okay. Final answer I should get here is going to be about 47.2. So it should be 47 grams when you round it to correct sig figs because you had two to start. So take a day or so, practice, practice, practice before you take your mixed stoichiometry quiz. And then we'll come back and start talking about the last two concepts in videos 8.5 and 8.6. Have a great day.